Well, hello. Hello, dear stranger. Welcome to Glen's Glade. Well, on this channel, we're going to be playing a bunch of RPGs. And this is the pilot episode. This is Icewind Dale, Enhanced Edition. And we're going to be playing the basic Icewind Dale. And yeah, let's get going. Icewind Dale. Rolled intro. They say that history is the greatest of all teachers. And that tales of past deeds define who we are in the present and what we shall be in the future. Mm. It is said that such tales shall, with each telling, illuminate us all with the light of truth. Oh. I shall tell you of such a tale. It is a tale quite familiar to me, for I have spent nearly a lifetime piecing it together and chronicling it here within this book. Mm. For years I have pondered its passages, studying every line, committing each word to memory. Perhaps, now, in the telling of it, I shall at last find the answers I oh, see. <laughs> Our story takes place in the northern region of Faerun, known as Icewind Dale. It is a harsh, frozen land, cut off from the rest of the world by a wall of jagged peaks called the Spine of the World. For centuries, the icy plains of the Dale have been home to the barbarian peoples of the Uthgard, and Regedman. Huddled together in small, closely knit tribes, the barbarians lived simple lives, free, proud, and fiercely independent. Hmm. Fiercely independent. Until the day an archmage named Erakar came to Icewind Dale. With an army of mercenaries, Arakan sought to conquer the north and force the fierce barbarians into slavery. Oh no. No. Terrible person. Long weeks of battle followed, and the scattered barbarian tribes suffered terrible losses. Defeat seemed inevitable. Huh. In their darkest hour, a barbarian shaman named Gerard came forth and demanded a council between all the remaining tribes of the north. A respected warrior, Jared persuaded the council to put aside their differences and unite against Erekan. Strengthened by a new sense of purpose, the barbarians rallied behind their new leader. The combined might of the northmen proved more than a match for Erekan, who had counted on the division of the tribe. Wave after wave of barbarian warriors oh, nice. pour into Arakan's hired army, forcing them on the defensive and ultimately into full retreat. As his army crumbled around him, Arakan had time for one last desperate act before his enemies descended upon him. Drawing upon his remaining power, the Archmage breached the planar boundaries, tearing open a portal to the lower plains. The foolish Archmage's cries of victory immediately turned to shrieks of terror as the hideous and twisted shapes of demon kind materialized from the portal and poured onto the battlefield. The sudden appearance of the demons drove the combatants, barbarian and mercenary alike, to turn to meet the new threat side by side. The remaining warriors bravely charged the portal to drive the Hellspawn back and were slaughtered by the hundreds. As his people fell around him, the barbarian shaman, Jared, looked up from the blood-drenched <laughs> snow of the battlefield and caught sight of a lone figure high upon a ridge in the distance. Jared immediately recognized this vision as an omen from his god, Tempus. And in that instant, he knew what had to be done. Shouting cries to his god, he charged through the ranks of the demons and plunged into the portal. As Jared's blood fused with the energies of the portal, an explosion of white light engulfed the battlefield. When the light subsided, the demons were gone, and the portal was closed. In its place hovered a disk of solid stone. Frozen within the center of the disk was Jared's body, locked in his final moment of agony, in his final moment of triumph. 
for all eternity. But that is not the end of our tale. It is but the beginning. <laughs> Okay, this is great. Let's just go for a game. We're gonna go for a new game. Now, we're not gonna use any of the characters that are pre-made for us. We're gonna make our own character. We're gonna create actually only two characters. Because I think a full party of six makes the game way, way, way too easy. Unless you're using any of, like, some of the NPCs that you find throughout the world. So we're gonna create only two characters. One male and one female. And they're gonna be a brother and sister. That's it. So, um, we're gonna create a new character. Uh, it's gonna be the first one's gonna be the male because that is gonna represent me. And uh, we're gonna have mm, which portrait do we like? Honestly, they're all super cool. I really like this one's super creepy. <laughs> Wait, I'm gonna use. Is it? We're gonna use this one. Yeah. He looks kind of older, but still fine. He looks like a knight or a paladin, maybe even. He uses a two-handed weapon that we're gonna use. So he's obviously clad in heavy armor. We're gonna be clad in heavy armor, and we're gonna have a tint of red. So everything looks fine now. <clears throat> Race, we're gonna be a human, because it gives you the most options. Class, well, we're gonna be a paladin. No, we're gonna be a fighter. We're not gonna be a paladin. We're gonna be a fighter. Um, a traditional fighter, no barbarian, not a can sign. Definitely not a wizard slayer. <laughs> I'm telling you. Don't go for wizard slayer. Worst class in the game. Alignment. So we're gonna be mm, neutral or chaotic. Probably more like chaotic good. Abilities. Uh, we're, we can roll ten times, right? That, that's the rule that I have, that I've established. It's you take what you have. On your first roll, which is this one, first generation, and then you can roll ten more times, and you have to pick one of these. So we're gonna store the seventy-six because there there are some odds that we're gonna get ten seventy-fives in a row, but it's very unlikely. One, okay, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Well, we're using seventy-nine. <clears throat> not too good. It's not very nice, but it is what it is. After all, we need nothing. But we can honestly no. I hate doing that, but I guess our intelligence has to go lower. And charisma and intelligence are going to be very low. We need a higher wisdom because wisdom is the thing that gives you a lot of saving throws in these in these games, in <clears throat> second edition, and even in modern D&D, you still need a bunch of wisdom in order to make good wisdom, wisdom saving throws. Or you can have your class have uh, grant you a proficiency in the saving throw. But since this is second edition, there are no proficiencies in the saving throws. So we need wisdom, because we want to save. Yep, we're gonna have... Is this large? No, two-handed sword. No, two-handed sword, yeah. Uh, single weapon style. Our appearance is gonna be, as I said, uh, we're gonna have orange hair. No, we're gonna have black hair because that's what the, the yeah. Our skin is gonna be very pale. Yep. We're gonna have some white. Can we go for white? There. Yeah. Yeah. Come on, come on. There it is. We're gonna have a tint of red, like this. This looks perfect to me. Okay, we're gonna have. Male fighter, four. Attack! No, three, five. Looks like I'm gonna have to go on a killing spree. What about three? Wow. Well. Steal yourselves. I'll wash me beard. I'm gonna looks go for like male fighter five. It looks cool. Killing spree. Kinda sounds like Ezreal from League of Legends. <laughs> and it's obviously gonna be called Glenn, because I'm role playing myself. Yes. Well, not myself, but the character that I create for YouTube. So basically, I'm gonna be role playing the channel. Except, let's create the second character, and as we said, she's gonna be a woman, and she's also gonna be a human, and she's gonna be a mage. 
<clears throat> there we go. Class. Uh, mage. She's gonna be... <sighs> I always love going wild mage. This, they can... This can be an ideal counterpoint to our character, because he is chaotic good, but he's absolutely um, lawful in his ideas that, I mean, he's a knight, right? He's, he's, he's not a knight yet, but he's a fighter, and he's very straightforward, so the chaotic part is not um, really represented yet, but the mage can be a lawful good mage, but also be a wild mage, so a, a lawful good wild mage is pretty rare. I'm not sure if, wait, does, no, it doesn't prohibit me from doing that. But the problem is it's very, uh, it, it sometimes gets in the way, so we're gonna go for mage, yeah. Our alignment's gonna be a lawful good, so they're basically on the same general page, but their understanding of authority is very different. Abilities. Well, our abilities are gonna be, okay, 75, 76, yes, it's one, two, oh wow, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten, eh, whatever. Uh, we don't need strength at all here. We need dexterity. We need intelligence. Constitution uh, here. Actually, that's what we're gonna do. Yep. It's gonna be very intelligent, very charismatic, and like our brother. A little bit of a dexterity too. Okay, let's go fourteen and go for wisdom. Uh, Thirteen in wisdom because wisdom is helpful in identifying objects. I think. Uh, Primary. Prime requisite for priests, yeah, okay. Uh, pff, who cares, man? Let's go for go, go for dagger, because, uh, of course, that's more. Because you can get out of the bat. Right out of the bat. Okay, now, we can only pick two spells. And, unfortunately, that isn't enough, usually. I'm gonna go for magic missile, because that's a damaging spell, the best damaging spell at level 1. And sleep, because it's the best spell at level 1. And two. <laughs> Click done. Well, no sleep instead of magic missile, because it's way more useful. The appearance. Now she's gonna have the same black hair, gonna be the same white tone. But is she gonna be blue? Because, you know, it's gonna be. She's white and red. She's gonna be white and blue. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. There we go, white. This is the white. We don't want it. Wait, give me a second. Yeah, that's the white, and then the blue. Oh, the blue is very scarce. Uh, whatever. Oh yeah, that's fine. We're gonna ha have our female mage. Prepare to be destroyed. No, that's too... I, I think that's a little too over the top. Die, fool! <laughs> Die! Let me at him! Man. I shall slay you all. By dead, I'll shield. Wait, let's, let's, let's just look at the... H O W female. You would do well to fear a woman's wrath. Your time draws near. Let's spill some blood. You would do well to fear a woman's wrath. Female thief. Dash and slash. Let's dance. Wow. By Clankadin's twin axes. What's the default? You would do well to fear a woman's wrath. Let's spill some blood. Your time draws near. You would do well to fear a woman. I think three. Let's spill some. And her name is gonna be Thelinda, or something of the sort. Okay, we're ready, and we can start the game. So let's play. Our tale begins here, <laughs> in the quiet fishing village of Easthaven, mm -hmm. one of the so-called ten towns of Icewind Dale. The tiny community is hardly a town, but rather a collection of ramshackle huts crowded together upon the icy shores of Lac Dinashire. Here, within a dimly lit tavern, a group of travelers sit huddled around a table, swapping tales and making grand plans for the future, completely unaware of the part they are to play in the events that are about to unfold. Oh, wow. Nice. Let's see what those events are. Hmm. What's this? New face in town, eh? 
Well met, stranger. The name is Rothgar, originally of Hillsfar. But now, after uh, years of Rothgar. traveling up, down, and under Faerun, uh, Skyrim. I am content to call this town my home. Who might you be? Mm. Greetings. Hi, Hrothgar. <laughs> my name... No, no, let's, let's, let's do it again. <clears throat> Hi, Hrothgar. <laughs> my name is Glenn. <laughs> well then, welcome to East Haven. <laughs> Whatever your business in these parts might be, I would offer you this small piece of advice. While you're in my town, you do well to be on your best behavior. Yes, sir. These folk are under my protection, and anyone who would seek to do harm to them in any way shall answer to me. Okay. That said, I'll let you get back to your cups. I'm sure you've had a long journey, mm. and you'll find there's no better way to shake off the cold of the road than by downing a few mugs of Grisella's best. Is that Grisella? She is a little more than Grisella. <clears throat> if you catch my drift. Uh, and if you're in need of lodging, mm. I would recommend talking to Quimby over at the Snowdrift Inn over on the east side of town. Okay, thank you. Equipment and supplies can be purchased next door at Pomab's Emporium. Pomab. Pomab's prices are a bit high, even for a Kalashite. But you'd be better off well equipped and short of coin than the other way around. Ill prepared travelers don't last long in these parts. That is absolutely understandable. Yeah, okay. Thank you very much for the advice. Once you've had a chance to rest up and get your bearings, come by and see me at my house. Mm. It's just a couple doors west of here. There's some business I would discuss with you. Farewell. Farewell, Hrothgar. Okay. Today, our party arrived... Let, let me just read it from the journal, because it will disappear. Today, our party arrived in the snowy lakefront community known as East Haven. Haven. <clears throat> Weary and half frozen from the road, we hastily made our way into the local tavern to find a hot meal and some friendly conversation. Scarcely had we seated ourselves at a table by the hearth when we were approached by a burly warrior who called himself Hrothgar. He seemed friendly enough, but something in his eyes warned us that he wasn't one to cross. He politely asked us to come see him at his home, a couple doors west of the tavern, to discuss business of some sort. Okay. These uh, journal messages are generally just a, a, a summary of all the conversation you've had. We're going to read through all the conversations. I mean, not only read through, but listen to them and voice act all of the parts that are not voice acted by the, by the, by the game itself. So yeah, I think that's going to be a lot of fun. Okay, yeah. so well, let's go talk I... to Grisella. Har, har, har. Oh, that's so funny and so silly at the same time. Uh, it's more silly than funny. Oh, hello, dearie. Welcome to the Winter's Cradle Tavern. My name's Grace Dyla. I own and operate this fine establishment. What can I get for you? This is my worst vocal impression ever. Oh, how about a drink? Can I have a drink, please? A drink? Of course, dearie. After all, this is a tavern. Plenty to drink here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, indeed. Yes, well, you see, I'm a bit of a band right now. In a bit of a bind right now. I've just run out of everything. I have nothing to offer you in the way of drink at this moment. Wait, you've run out of everything? Well, the tavern hasn't run completely dry. I do have some stock down in the cellar, but... But what? This is rather embarrassing, but I'm having somewhat of a pest problem down in the dirty old cellar, and I'm afraid to go down there. I do so hate bugs. Just the thought of those nasty creepies and crawlies sends shiver, shivers down my spine. I see. Uh, is there anything I can do to help? That's awfully sweet of you, dearie. But I don't, but I don't expect you to go to any trouble on my account. I'm sure I'll think of something. Oh. Have no fear, madam. I shall see to it that the pests down below trouble you no further. Wonderful. The stairs to the cellar are in the back room. Now you be careful down there, dearie, and don't let any of those little buggers creep back up here. All right? Okay, I think I'm going to take care of this. Only after we um, go and equip ourselves, because we have nothing on us, right? I'm ready to do Not even a sword. And stuff. Let, me just, uh, let me just fix the volume, because this is way too loud. The voice volume especially. And the movie volume. 
the music can do whatever. Like ambient sounds are good, sound effects are okay, voice a little lower. Character subtitles, uh, command sounds, never. Ah, sell them. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Battle cries, character movement sounds. Okay, we can, we can, yeah, we're ready to, to go back to the game now. Yeah. We're gonna head out and go to Pomab, right? Oh, right. Pomab's Emporium. Timmy's Emporium. Okay, please, Pomab. I, I like this village, looks nice. Okay, let's enter. Hello. Oh, A selection of polished vases and oil lamps are scattered about the length of this counter. Interesting, so he's a collector. What is this? More barbarians come to my shop? No doubt with nothing to barter, but with more wolf belts and polished stones. Very well, let us get this over with. What do you want? Barbarians, I think you're mistaken, friend. Am I now? I don't think so. All of you northerners are the same to me, smelly and barbaric. Keep pushing it and I'll show you just how barbaric I can be. How dare you speak to me in such a manner? Do you know who I am? <laughs> no, but I'm sure you're going to tell me. <laughs> I am Pomab. Pomab. Akasm here. Royal diplomatic envoy of Kalimshan and appointed overseer of the northern caravan routes. Oh, forgive me, your lordship. I had no idea. Your poor attempt at sarcasm is an obvious sign of your lowly birth. I'll have you know that I am the third cousin of the Pasha himself, not to mention a royal courtier in good standing. If you're in such good standing in Kalimshan, then what in the nine hells are you doing all the way up here in Icewind Dale? The Pasha, ah, he asked me to accept this post of overseer of the northern caravan routes as a personal favor. I see. Likely this post is not but a convenient excuse for the Pasha to get rid of a royal paint in his arse. I would not expect someone of your station to understand such matters. Now, if you do not mind, buy something or leave. Fine. What do you have for sale? <laughs> Interesting. Um... So, we'll need a two-handed sword immediately. This warhammer has the worst icon ever. Like, look at this. This this looks like a, like a tool hammer, not a real warhammer. Um, mm -hmm. Does she have a quarter staff? She does. Uh, scroll case. Maybe get her a scroll case. Yep. Uh, dude, you, you can have a um, helmet, just a regular helmet, we don't need any of the fancy stuff, because they don't protect any better. Maybe some studded leather, yeah. Okay, Um. still, regardless of your rudeness, thank you for your service. Okay, we're equipped now. We are kind of equipped. I'm ready to do oh, all right. Let us leave. And go deal with the best problem in the tavern. Oh, all right. Winter's Cradle. <laughs> These look very nice. They remind me of the Hobbit a little bit because they look kind of poor and derelict. But it's fine. It's fine. Let's go downstairs now. Oh, wow. They are here. Wooden casks of strong smelling brews have been stacked in the corner. Yeah. Okay. Kill the beetles. Uh, can you put the beetles to sleep? Can you equip the quarterstaff, please? Thank you. You want me? Oh, you want me? This is way too sexual for for for, for, a, for a regular playthrough. I mean, this is a children's game, right? Children were supposed to play that game. <laughs> Oh, wow, wow, wait, 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 no, 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 we don't want her to die. I'll let him handle the whole thing. Okay, we're ready here. We can head upstairs. Um, this guy is so silly, like, the voice. His lines are silly, not just the voice, but the, lion, the lines that were given to him. Har, har, what is this? Is that a real warrior? No. <laughs> it's a bad attempt <laughs> at, an, at an impression of a quote-unquote pirate warrior 
was really dangerous, but no, no, please. I think I'll have to, um, I might have to do some digging in how to change the voice, or just, just mute him, probably mute him. Any luck getting rid, oh, <clears throat> sorry. Any luck getting rid of those nasty bugs, dearie? My customers are getting pretty thirsty. It is done. Those bugs won't be troubling you anymore. Thank you, dearie. You're a lifesaver. Just do me one more favor. Keep this little bug problem between you and me. I don't want folks thinking Brazil's place isn't clean. We're along now. I gained 5 gold and 1200 experience. 1200 experience is actually quite a bit. Uh, we'll have to sleep on it because our lady here is almost dead. Uh, I have some questions for you. Sorry, dearie. Having the time to chit chat with you. I have time to run, you know. If you're looking to catch up on local gossip, I suggest you buy around or mingle with some of the other patrons. Very well, I'll leave you to your work. Yes. Oh, interesting. Yeah. Okay. I guess we'll just have to do it. Mm-hmm. Let's just Okay, so what is this? It's a fishmonger. Okay, we don't we we really do not <coughs> care about fishmonging. Let's go. Is that the the place? I think so. Might be. Is that the guy? Is that the high Hrothgar? card? It is Hrothgar. card. Well met, friend, and welcome to my home. Make yourselves comfortable, but try not to break anything. Many of these curiosities that you see lie mm. about have <coughs> sentimental value. Oh, where did you get all of this stuff? Oh, they're all remembrances of my adventuring no. days. Little trinkets and the like that I picked up here and there. More keepsakes than valuables, really. Leftovers. My days of fortune and glory. Oh, adventuring days. So you're retired then? Uh, Semi-retired, actually. Hmm. This region is still untamed and fraught with many dangers. I have had plenty of opportunities in the last few years to take up my sword and shield and do battle with those who threaten the safety of East Haven and its neighbors. In fact, I am planning such an expedition right now. That is what I wanted to speak to you about. What sort of expedition? We've received word from Kulk, <coughs> neighbors to the south, that evil forces are stirring nearby in the spine of the World Mountains. Evil forces? What do you mean, evil forces? I am organizing and leading a party from East Haven oh. south to Kaldahar Valley to investigate. You look to be capable enough. Perhaps you'd like to join us. What say you? What sort of evil forces are we talking about, though? I don't really know. The messenger oh. is too specific. I suppose if you want more details, you could ask old Everard over at the temple. But time's a wasting. Hmm. We need to get this expedition moving before the snows seal off the pass to Kaldahar. So what's it going to be? Are you in or out? Um, sounds exciting actually. Uh, count us in. Excellent. Glad to have you on board. I plan to assemble the rest of the expedition and set out for Kaldahar within a few days. Oh, great. With storms brewing in the mountains, I'd rather we <clears> depart <throat> sooner. But there are matters that require my attention here about town. Oh, matters? Perhaps we can help you. Actually, now that I think about it, maybe you can help. Mm -hmm. Pomar, the local shopkeeper, has recently expressed concern over the rapidly thinning stock of his store. Rapidly thinning stock? He's been complaining that the regular caravan from Kier Dinable is long overdue, and that if they don't arrive soon, he's sure to be out of business. Mm. Now, normally I take Pomar's whining with a grain of salt, but with heavy snows <clears> away, <throat> It would be best to make sure that caravan makes it through. So what is it exactly that you want me to do? I want you to find that caravan. Hmm. Leave town by way of the South Bridge and scout the hills west of Loch Dinnershaw, between East Haven and Kerr Dinnerville. Caravans always stick close to the shoreline this time of year. Interesting. Okay. Let us continue. Once you find it, see the caravan safely to East Haven. In the meantime, I'll assemble the rest of the expedition and make the final plans for our journey. Okay. Return here as quickly as you can. We must make for Kaldahar Pass while the weather is favorable. Good luck. Safe journey. Oh, thank you. Fa farewell. Farewell. Oh, we need to. We need to get moving. 
One doesn't become a hero by sitting around, right? Let's go. Wait. Hrothgar asks us to find the missing caravan out of Kaer Dinival. The caravan was carrying valuable supplies intended for East Haven. Hrothgar suggested we take the south bridge out of town and search for the caravan in the hills among the shores of Lac Denishir. We are to return to East Haven and to Hrothgar either with the caravan or with news of its mysterious fate. Okay. Can I sleep in the tavern, by the way? Oh, there it is. Snow Drift Inn. That is where we're gonna take our little nap time so that our sister. Thelin. Thelinda. Yeah, it's Thelinda. So that Thelinda can actually heal her wounds from the beetles. <laughs> Greetings, traveler. The name's Quimby, and I welcome you to my inn. Well met, Quimby. You seem rather enthusiastic. Ah, enthusiastic, yes. It is rare that I get any travelers at this time of year. Thus, I want all my guests to feel welcome. Ha ha! Um, okay, how about a room, Quimby? Yep. Just a peasant and a merchant room. Nothing else. Well... Mm -hmm. The peasant room is, while an adequate place to rest, rooms of this type offer little more than a roof over one's head. Recuperative, recuperative benefits will likely be minimal. You get what you pay for. A merchant's room? A favorite of the frugal business traveler, rooms of this type are basic but comfortable. A good solid mattress and clean linen. For when one must awaken presentable, but not so pampered as to promote oversleeping. Okay, so basically these rooms don't give us all the benefits of sleeping and this one is gives us like the golden standard of sleeping, right? So you, you can sleep well, you get all the benefits, you heal up. I think Noble gives you a little a few bonuses and Royal gives you more bonuses. Maybe maybe that's the way it works. I don't know, I'm not sure. Okay, let's rent it. I've played a, a way, um <clears throat> I have played a lot more Baldur's Gate than Icewind Dale. And in Baldur's Gate, I don't think there's a big difference between any of the rooms. It's just for role play purposes. But um, maybe here there is a difference. Who knows? It's a game that was uh, made two or three years later. So there are a few new additions to the system. But yeah, let's see. We'll go, we'll go for a merchant room. Um, Quimby, please. Give us your best merchant room. Wow. Is that a rat? <laughs> Not so comfortable, yeah. <laughs> oh man, so sad. Oh wait, it's night time again. Uh, help monsters? What do you mean? Quick! We've got to get to Hrothgar! There are monsters in town that almost ate me! Whoa, slow down there. What are you talking about? Monsters! A whole bunch of them! They came down to the shore while I was fishing! I dropped everything and ran when I saw them, but they didn't chase me. I thought they were going to eat me, but I guess they were just after my fish. Uh, where are these monsters now? Just over the bridge, down by the lake. My dad told me no fish, not to fish so far out by myself, but I can't help it. That's where I catch the big ones. He's gonna kill me when he finds out I've lost today's catch, all because of those stupid monsters. Don't worry, we'll deal with these thieving monsters and get you your fish back. Okay. Um, oh, these are goblins. Oh, wow, wow. Hopefully we just... No, no, no. We have to run. I don't think we can kill them on our own. Um, maybe we actually should really just go to Hrothgar and, and ask him for some help. Because... Uh, Hrothgar, please, Hrothgar, please, Hrothgar, help us in our endeavors. Okay, so that dealt two damage. So any more arrow arrows that hit Thalanda are gonna kill her, oh, which is not good. Right. Oh, good, you've returned. What news? Oh wow. Haste. I spotted heavy clouds hanging over the mountains this morning. I suspect snow will fall in the passes earlier than normal this season. Oh, farewell then. This is very unfortunate, actually. Uh, we have to kill him. Kill this one, Goblin. 
to do adventuring and stuff. Ow. Ready? Very well. Yeah. Sure. 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 Just enter. Oh. Are they gonna join us here? Uh, hopefully not. But like, what the actual fuck? This is so scary. Ah, uh, I can't kill them. How do I beat these monsters? They chased us all the way to town? Do you have sleep? I hope you... Okay, let's kill them. Let's kill them. The ones that are here. Oh. Dude, dude, just... Okay, okay, we killed them. Right? Okay. Oh wait, there's more monsters. Uh, these are goblins, right? Uh, I'm super scared, actually. I don't know what to do. I'm ready to do adventuring and stuff. Uh, okay, do we have any way of like? No, we have nothing. Okay, uh, Thalinda, just stay back, cause there's no no way you win this. I'm ready to do adventuring. Okay, this one's dead. Mm, we're supposed to be able to stat check the goblin. Okay, I'll we'll kill both of them. Okay, hopefully that's all. That's not all of them. That is not even all of them. Uh, this is so sad. Uh, the the first levels of any of those um, early D and D second edition CRPGs are just the like Baldur's Gate, Icewind Dale. Regardless of the game, the first few levels are always nightmarish, because this is so hard. Like, if I die, there's nothing I can do, and I basically have to cheat in order to, to, to stay alive, which is reloading, which we won't do, by the way. Uh, or just, yeah, kiting around like this. <laughs> he broke his skull. It's beautiful. Um, okay. Uh, oh, no, 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 please, no, please, no, please, no, please, no. No, don't shoot, don't shoot. Don't shoot. It kinda looks like a furry rat. I think it just went B. Yeah. What? Are they talking about the goblins? Oh wait, that's a goblin elite. I know the routine. I'm ready to do adventuring. Looks like I'm gonna have to go on a killing spree. Okay, uh, uh, I hope Glenn doesn't die, cause if he, if he's hit one more, time, okay, he's dead. No, please, please, just just get him. Oh, dude. Okay, okay, nice. Okay, one more hit, one more hit, please. Glenn, Glenn, Thelinda, please. Okay, yes, we got him. Uh, knucklehead trout basically means the fish is gone. Okay. Uh, this was. I think that's the end of the encounter. There shouldn't be any more goblins. Eight of them is more than like who was this? Who designed this? This is this is absolutely outrageous. How do you beat this? <laughs> Please give us a room, Quimby. How much does a room cost, Quimby? Okay, give us your best merchant room. Yeah, the one with the rat. <laughs> Look at it. <laughs> so cute. Um, okay, let us leave now, and see what we can find. Okay, there's a little boy. Damien. Um, you're back! Weren't you able to get my fish back from those monsters? Uh, today's your lucky day, boy. Here's your fish. <laughs> I mean, at least what's left of it. <laughs> Thanks. Uh, Best be getting home. My dad's probably worrying about me. The party has lost tonight. Knucklehead trap. Farewell, boy. Farewell. Okay. We got some XP. So we are... Wait. Interesting. Um, this is the way we should be going, right? I hope so. Let's save. Uh, saving is always good. Let's say we're gonna call this one 
Glen Glensglade, yeah. Hopefully we can find out what's happened with the with the with the caravan without dying. I'm ready to do adventure in sure. Okay, this is not the way. Maybe it's this way. Yeah. Oh you, yeah, in Icewind Dale you have to click on the road. I, I always forget that. Okay. Uh this looks scary. Oh no 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 these don't look very very nice. These are wolves, right? Can you can you shoot a sleep spell right here and can you go? Put them to sleep, please. Got monsters to kill. I know the routine. Show me a target and I'll smash it. Okay, please kill that one. Please kill it. Please kill it. Kill it. Guys, kill it. Uh, okay, this combat is not turning out very well. Should have shouldn't have attacked this one, should have attacked the other one. Glenn. Okay, this one's dead. Oh no, he's targeting her. Is he? Let's just let's just leave. Can we travel? Can we travel? Oh yes, okay. Um I think we need to buy some additional supplies because because this is getting really scary. Uh, <laughs> this combat is so so intense. Okay, Fomab, please, Fomab, help us. <laughs> Hopefully, we can we can find a way to beat these guys because I can't I, I can't even imagine what what's waiting for us, like beyond the wolves. I've never played this game with less than uh, six people or five at least. Okay, I would like to buy something. Um, really, you have nothing that can help us. You have no. No, we don't have anything. Okay, let's sell all of these. Yeah, do you have anything? That's a cool case. Well, it doesn't really matter. We need 112, uh, 120 for splint mail. Ugh. That's rough. We can't spend the. Yeah, that's the other thing about the game. You can't just sleep on the streets. Because uh, guards can pick you up and. Each other. No, 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 boy. We can do this here. No. Can we sleep on the road? Please tell me we can sleep on the road. Um, no, not yet. Can we sleep? I don't think we can sleep in the entire area. Probably we can't. But let's see. No. They're still there. Okay. Uh, let us sleep again. This is not very... Um, efficient in terms of cash, but I don't think there's any other way to, to get past the first few levels with just a party of two. Maybe if we were level 2 and we had better gear, or if I had bought uh, splint mail instead of the scroll case. Maybe. Uh, Quimby, please give me room. Uh, merchant. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, we know. Okay. Yeah. Let's leave for... Right. Rested for one day in 16 right. hours. This is like, it's a ton. Who sleeps that much? Maybe we can explore the village. Hmm. But this is this is absolutely fine, actually. Um, why is she walking? Walking first? She shouldn't be walking first. Uh, either way, because because she has only four health points, she, she's gonna die. Um, okay, well, let's attempt to, to put them to sleep again. Bye bye, sleep, sleep, get away, please. Okay, you're dead. I'm just go and kill him. Oh no. Is he honestly gonna chase? Uh, epic. No, 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 no. I'm ready to do adventuring and stuff. Can you hit him? Okay, you go first and she comes with you, but... Move out. Okay, I think he can duel, duel the wolf, unless... Okay, okay, he, he deals enough damage to kill it. One more blow. Uh, I think we crit him, that's good. Okay, can we sleep here? Oh, the animations are <laughs> kind of worse. Because they're CGI, like, they're technologically better, 
but uh, visually worse. I mean, I know CGI is more impressive. I mean, at least it, the people thought it was more impressive back in 2002 when this game came out. But I prefer the drawings of uh, the, the, the computer drawings of Baldur's Gate, of original Baldur's Gate. Uh, yeah. But still, oh wow, wow, that's a that's a big boy. I don't know how we kill him. This wooden caravan. These wooden caravan wagons lie empty and abandoned in the snow. Okay. Can we go here? Can we? Yeah? No, I can't. There's a cliff. Uh, okay, so what do we do now? What is this? Oh, it's a cape. Oh. Put that to sleep. That's not a way out of thing. I'm ready to do adventuring and stuff. Okay, please just, just end them as fast as possible. Uh. Ooh, he hits like a truck. Yeah. We need to move out of here. Okay. We got one. Oh, all right. I suppose I got some time to kill. Can you just kill him? Uh, what? Sure. Uh. We need to resurrect her. No, 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 no. This didn't go according to plan. This didn't go according to plan at all. Oh, he's, he's following me. Great. Uh, please attempt to kill him. No, no, no. We need, we need to We need to move. We need to move. We need to move. We need to move. Fast, fast, fast. Run, 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 Glenn. Run. Okay, so our quest is no longer helping these people. Our quest now is to save our sister. Uh, is there a temple in town? I seriously doubt it, because... Where are we? In the middle of nowhere. Uh, let's look around. Let's ask around. Can you talk to me, townsperson, please? Yes, can I help you with something? Yes, I wanted to ask some things about East Haven. Please. Live it. Uh, East Haven. Lived here for quite a span, I have. Things have been getting worse or, or of late, though. You mean the weather? <laughs> The stuttering and overall patheticness of the broadcaster in this clip is caused by a rush of insecurity in his ability to keep both characters from dying eventually. We are begging you to excuse his pitiful display. Can you tell me a little bit about the house? Uh, the... I don't know what's happening. Well, since you're new in town, you'll probably want to get a room at the Snowdrift Inn. It's on the eastern side of town. The innkeeper, Quimby, he, he, he's a right enough sort. He should have plenty of rooms available, but he just got an elf guest from the south, so at least one room is taken. Can you tell me any more about the town? Aside from Quimby's Inn, there's Pomab's Emporium in the northeast part of the town. He can be a right ass Pomab can, so I hope you can. You don't need to buy anything from that copper copper clenching jackal. Wow. Wish that damn Kalashite had stayed down south with the rest of his kind. Can you tell me any more about the town? Well, there's the Temple of Tempus, that huge blue glass structure to the northwest, run by Everard. Heard Everard is the one who saw the messenger from Kuldahar, if you can believe it. Fellow died right on the doorstep. Uh, I must take my leave. Farewell. Okay, now we have enough information about the temple. So we, there is a temple to Tempus. I hope they can revive my sister. Because if they can't, that's gonna be incredibly sad. Because I don't know how to... Oh, they're gonna they're gonna want a lot of money for it even if they can. Oh. Uh, har, har, har. Rothgar mentioned there were strangers in town. What is it you want? I, I'm Glenn. Are are you the high priest of the temple? Yes, I am Everard. Everard of Tempus, battle priest of the Lord of Battles. What brings you here? I was wondering if we might pay our respects to the temple and perhaps receive some healing. Okay, resurrection is 150. Uh, 150 is a long way away from what we have. We, we need to go and find some, some... We need to go and find a way to, to, to get some money real quick, because... Right. It was hard enough with two people. One of them being the crowd control bot, and this guy being the, the old attacker. Uh, 
uh, we, we're gonna struggle with one person. We really need to find a way to... to, to... Okay. Oh, thank the gods, whoever you are. You picked the perfect time to wander by. I could really use some help. My name is Glenn, who might you be? The name is Absol, but please, we don't have time for such pleasantries. I need your help. What seems to be the problem? A wolf somehow got into my workshop and is tearing the place apart. It attacked me. I was, as I was opening the shop this morning, I was so startled by the sight of the beast that I accidentally broke the key off the lock while trying to get away. Now I can't even get back in. Your shop? What do you sell? I'm a scrimshander. I carve the huge bony skulls of knucklehead trout of knucklehead trout into fine works of art. This summer, South Southlanders will come and buy my pieces to take back to their fancy shops. That is, of course, if I ever get any work done. Damn wolf. What is it exactly that you want me to do? I'd be most grateful if, grateful if you could go in there and get rid of that stupid thing for me. Then I could back to my scrim scrimshaw. Of course, you'll have to find a way to get the door open first. Very well. I'll dispatch your troublesome hound shortly. I sincerely thank you. The door at my shop is just around the corner here. Please get rid of that demonic canine as soon as possible. Uh, is it this one? Can you move? Can you move, please? Glenn? Uh, breaking into his shop. How do I break into the shop? Um... Huh. Is there a way to break into it? I think we can attack the door. Yeah. Let's do that. Well, let's attack the door. Hopefully break it open. Wait. We have successfully forced the door. Oh, wow. It is really a wolf. Um, if we die here, that's very unfortunate. Okay. Please, Glenn, please, don't die. Uh, I really need to... Oh, fuck. And there we are! Dead. In all seriousness, we're actually starting all over again. So, I really hope you enjoyed it. <laughs> as much as I did. Thanks for watching, guys.